Yo, ah, white boys knocking this shit, y'all mad at me, y'all can set my jip. Yo, let's read between these bars. Off the top, Tyler's already getting that Ian. Already, off the jump. I don't know if you guys know who Ian is, but he's this little square that try to pick up everybody's style and run with. They're like Caucasian man. And he's like mocking future and Gucci man like rap music. And like people are like, this shit hard. It's not even like satire. It's like, I'm just joking, I'm just mocking it. But I'm like, no, 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 you can't do And I hold rap music so close too. to my heart because this shit changed my life and everyone's life around me. And I'm a nerd about this shit. This is like weird. All these goofies that already broke it down and didn't wait for the album to come out and was, Ugh, let's get the views real quick. That was the promo. That wasn't even the full version because Schoolboy's on the full version. And Schoolboy is exposing some shit. He talking about booty piercings. Excuse me? What? Niggas said they get rich and they act weird. How you walking at the party with your butt pierced? Should I rather play God to the check clear? Niggas said I'm 35, now they out here. Homer's doing overtime today, I don't care. How you walking up the party with your butt pierced? I don't know whose ass is pierced and I don't know why he knows that, but <laughs> we're gonna keep going. You turn 35, you out here. You out here, you know what that mean when you out here. He likes some fruit in his loom, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if Drake got his booty pierced. You started getting this, you started seeing the fingernails pop. I don't know if he was 35. I just know he was in his 30s. And you started seeing mad fingernails. Hello kitties wrapped around wine spritzers. Ooh, I'm gonna get me wrapped. Oh, what are they your romance? I don't want to be seen in your bromance packed in goddamn schoolboy talking some shit but we're gonna go ahead and move forward to Tyler because that plane behind him is more than just a funny ass little heart on the back also spitting some real specific bars when he stares at that plane too this song is just full of disses though and if you don't you don't think that listen to the intro of this bitch he's ready for war homie yeah that way the pilot suit ain't for goofs, bro. He's be piling in the new phase of the war on the industry. Yeah, what shrink go out, Billy? Shout out, Papa Heat for whips. From Ted's V, he pop for real. Let's call him like Stop and Shift. Look, I try to be out the way. I like the ball with the leg. I like some shit in my sleeves. I'm niggas friendly and fake. That's big bro. How we got me yesterday? I like the farm with the leg. I like some truth in my space. I think he's talking about Drake. Zoom in, focus as he's saying, that's big bro, how when y'all met yesterday? He's looking at the damn plane with the heart on it, bro. All right, hear me out here. A little heart on the head, right? Certified lover boy. You remember that little album phase that Drake went through? What do you have in his fucking head? There's been a lot of emphasis on these shipping containers. Tyler's put a lot of emphasis on being paranoid and taking your mask off and revealing your true self and seeing the truth through, right? Chromacopia is a fucking amazing album, by the way. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Back to the point. I'm not saying anybody's doing any kind of anything just to absolve myself of any legal ramifications. There's just certain arrows that point a certain way. So here this shit. When you think of code terms and code names, you gotta think high power. You can't think lower end like it's just me and you using code names and shit. This is high power. This is way beyond what you think is just like, oh, little code names and shit. No. Lover boy. You see what the fuck that meant? Did you know what that meant? In those type of terms? Did you know that? I didn't. You see what that says right there? It's a common mm, method. And it's called love. Report. How many languages and accents have you heard Drake say he was gonna take a woman from overseas and put him in a better life? That's literally what they be doing. That's literally what a lover boy does. That's the tactic. That's why he's called, and he's certified. He's telling you he's a certified lover boy, CLB. Big ass cargo jet plane on the bottom says chances are she's on board. What the fuck, bro? He probably asking why the fuck is there an R. Kelly album cover right here? Ask Drake. He used it as inspiration for the for the fucking what do you call it? The paint job of the plane. Could have picked any album. Mad Clouds, Mad Cloudy albums. Motherfucker picked R. Kelly. You saved me. Interestingly enough, huh? Chances are she's on board. Fuck out of here. We didn't forget about the shell companies, homie. We didn't forget about your little funny ass little super yacht that you got up over there. Quit the coral ocean. Lover boy, remember? He said it himself, he's a CLB. And yeah, I'm, I'm tying all that together just from the little heart on the plane and the bars that go into it because I'm not a fucking idiot. And you can clearly tell that he's talking to somebody. I'm gonna cover mask off when that shit comes around too. But yeah, the plane shit had me. I was like, oh, he's fucking talking shit. He's straight talking to Drake. He's even saying that shit while looking at... Y'all motherfuckers better catch this, bro. I didn't even mention Luna Luna. 
and how Luna Luna is uh, specifically shipping these shipping containers by a company named Luna Shipping. What the fuck? Why does that even matter? Why does that matter? Let me show you why that matters. Courtesy of Kiki and also some shit that we found on Dark King. You gotta remember people are smart as fuck sometimes and they're also stupid as hell. You gotta use your cover-ups. You gotta cover up a cover-up with a cover-up. Oh, look, we gotta move some shit around? Word. You gotta throw that throw that in front of that. Gotta make, make it look like we're not moving too much shit. You know what I'm saying? Back to the shipping containers. What does this have to do with the Luna Luna art exhibit? They ship all this shit in these shipping containers. These same shipping containers. Not the Chromacopia ones. They don't say big-ass Chromacopia on the side. But they're the same... Same deal. This goes way beyond just this one song. We're gonna look at Take Your Mask Off next, but I just wanted to cover this and specifically that little plane part. So I was like, hold the fuck, this plane. He's putting a lot of emphasis on this bar and these planes and then Trav, these fools are feds. Like, hold up, what you, what you talking about here, Tyler? This is just a piece of the theory too. It goes way deeper. The sweet, some Swedish twins are involved in this whole lining with the plane and shit somewhere. And then it goes deeper into the whole trafficking aspect and the worldwide. <laughs> It goes crazy, bro. Shout out to Kiki. She's helping put most of this shit together. Thought crimes. Love. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one. I know this new album is a little different, but this is the first album where like everything I said is true. And I say that in the sense of it's no exaggeration. It's no like, like it's so honest that I think I had to wear a mask of my own face to get some of that shit out. So I appreciate any of y'all that's fucking with it for real.